Oh, did we just go back to it already? Whatever. I wanted to say some things, I guess, but I guess I just stopped and started recording really early. Uh, uh, really, really quickly, rather. I'm sorry for st stammering over my words as much. Um, I don't know why it's happening. But Haggith versus Mal. Um, Haggith. I, I've always said Haggith's headless is actually really scary. His fortune is really scary. If he had, if he had some sort of set play of any kind, he knew how to do some combos. Of, of, you know, that are, like, actually, like, if he had some sort of setup that looped into itself of, of any kind, he'd be, he'd be winning against so many more people, but he doesn't, so, you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna berate him for it. It's his choice, or rather, the amount of time that he has to be able to practice again, so. But it doesn't matter too much, we just kind of jump right into this. Um, he immediately puts his head out. Because Headless versus Peacock, um, you are solo against a trio, you have a bunch of wart life to work with. And if you get a hit of any kind, you can kind of just kill her. Um, but again, you know, Asterisk H Haggith doesn't really have a lot of combos here, or a lot of setups either. So, I guess the head kind of hits the assist there, which is pretty cool. Immediately hit, assist, hit. Now, I'll hold a violin super hard. I, I just want to go back here, you know. Like, um, sweet. So, in this point, Mal has done one autopilot thing second autopilot thing and he gets hit but Haggis I guess doesn't realize that that works and he then he um, fail his, gets doesn't get the ability to confirm of it and head is now behind you head is behind Mal and he does a good job of kind of just backing off um, Mal text back first of all tech back it's a good peacock thing but you gotta notice the head is over here head is over here so you gotta be really afraid of him just doing heavy punch of any kind and it just stuffs anything you do he backdashes which is great but haggith should not have jumped here i feel like that was a not that was not a good idea especially without doing anything with the head but what, what why is that the head doing things i might be wrong about that because that's head cooldown, and I don't know why the head has cooldown over here. If I, I, if I might be wrong, and the head might actually have cooldown, in which case, I feel like I still wouldn't, I still wouldn't do anything. I would just sit, sit at the corner of the screen because he can't do anything to my head in that situation with, with the backdash. So if you wait a little bit, get the head off cooldown, then poke him with anything as you move forward, then that's better to go for. Now the head gets hit, but he also does a trip, so it's pretty good. Mal takes forward to get his bomb protection. He doesn't confirm that, um, so he just does an autopilot thing. The head doesn't hit. Mal um, immediately going to launcher. Immediately going to launcher. There's there's nothing like you do this all this thingy, and then you hit get hit for it. So I'm not a fan. Um, I think you you didn't get counter hit either, so you were just like trying to jump up and not block immediately. So as soon as you see an assist, you just immediately dial in your launcher as soon as you can um, especially since you're not even gonna combo peacock so you don't need to worry about like oh is this kind of combo or not so you just go into it immediately and I'm pretty sure it combos if or if not then like jab into launcher combos it, there has to be some way this this it's not that doesn't I'm pretty sure there's no way it doesn't combo but if it does then I'm really sorry I'm for being wrong but you know or he can just go into standing mini punch and then launcher and be quicker about it uh Dash jump plays. Dash jump makes it better because you don't have to block the spawn over here. He's got medium item coming. Uh, medium item coming over against the head is actually fairly strong because the head, the head most of the time will be tra will be over here. Well, peacock or fortune will be over here. So what that does is it the M item makes it so that having the head, even though the head will the item will track the person of the head. Still having there is pretty good, and it's a let's it, he doesn't let it go. But if you let it go, it gets a pretty good damage on the head. But it's fine because um, a, an elephant is coming to hit you. I don't know what the George was for. Did he? Did he do that? Oh, he did um, George into teleport into fake teleport, I guess, or something. I don't really know. Um, this is great, fine. Both things hit the head, feels bad, but, you know, you, at this point you can still move. Except, what the, what did he do? 
Okay. Both things at the head. Now he starts. Did he? What did he? Okay. okay. Now he started to charge H item, I think. Oh no, M item again. My bad. Um. And Hecate's kind of backing off, but now he's with the head behind Mao, which is something that he needs to know. That immediately, like, tr trigger signals, like, head is behind you, ding, 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 you gotta be afraid. But, kind of kind of just get hits there. I don't really know why. I guess he's trying to input some movement of some kind. And he gets that. Um. He set up, whatever. Get hit on the ground, whatever. The setup, whatever. <laughs> Uh, he blocks it finally. The point of that is that, that setup is so cheap, and there's nothing to talk about. Push blocking Peacock there is kind of scary. Um, you even have the head behind you. Uh, Haggis even had the head behind him. So that was. Yeah. Uh, I guess the head was on cooldown. No, the head was not on cooldown. He probably, I guess, he just missed it or something. I don't know. But the point is, the head could have helped him do the confirm, and he just, I guess, missed it. Um, wait, did he hit by two things? What did he hit by? Oh, he just entered medium punch, medium kick immediately. But head was not on cooldown, so he could have got a combo out of it. So, you know. In two things. Da, da, da. Head is now in front. Head gets hit. Feels bad, man. And the, some of the head bullets are going to get... <laughs> That's actually pretty quick. If he had done it earlier, that would have been amazing. As during the gaps, gap between the missiles... Between the between the hits, I guess at the end, bullets at the end. No confirm though, feels bad, man. Now the head is behind you. That's even worse. Um, now the hit even gets hit here. That yes, even worse. And now, now there's, there's Lenny on screen. Lenny is gonna hit the head. Like there's no reason it doesn't. And kaboom, lots of damage. This just sucks. There's nothing to say here. This just sucks. This is shit. So Haggis had a few con opportunities to get a hit, but then he kind of just dropped the confirm, and then, you know, it is what it is. And then he, uh, I guess the the Lenny at the end was really the deal breaker because Lenny was gonna hit the head, he was gonna hit the head regardless. There's no real way of saving it, I guess. Um, maybe he could have tried to sneeze the head over. I guess I don't really know. Um, it was kind, it was kind of rough. Yeah. It's kind of a deal breaker there. Like like I said, like Haggard isn't doing bad things. It's just he's missing some confirms on occasion, and it just doesn't like some the things that he tries for don't really just go his way. Let's see if this game is indifferent. Does the heavy fiber to go over the assist, which is fine. The jumping heavy kick. I don't know why that happened. I I don't think that should have happened. Uh, jump back against that. Not a fan. Just block the L bomb over here. I'm pretty sure the H bomb is not going to hit you if you crash block here. What the hell? Did the oh yeah, the bomb just collided. So jump back over here was not a good idea. So, so you do the fiber over here, jumping heavy kick. I'm guessing you're just kind of mashing the heavy kick to get the fiber into jump, which is you know whatever. And you jump back immediately. The jump back was not good. You could have just crash blocked here, and uh, also probably just push block the. Push block Peacock so she gets pushed in the corner. But I'm also guessing it was also he was trying to get the trying to get the oh, perfect angle to kind of get the, drop the drop the head on him. But he also didn't get hit by the bombs over here, so that's ultimately I don't know. I mean, if some people, so I personally would have blocked there, but I don't. Ultimately, this isn't a bad idea. I think it's just if you're jumping back, you really have to be really afraid of that against Peacock because the amount of space you give her. Is really scary, and I personally would like to have her in the corner before I try to get the head out or anything like that. Into Haggis combo. Oh, what the hell was that? I guess Mal was trying to tech that, so he tries to get a button here. But he Haggis drops a combo, feels bad. Into the thingy, drops a combo, because no confirm. Herp -a -derp -a -derp. This works, and he doesn't combo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Push block, please. This is this is what you deserve. What the fuck? I don't know about that at all. La 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 la
nothing interesting to see here, folks. Nothing compelling, no compelling game to be seen here at all. This is so garbage. Delete this. And tweet. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not gonna. Yeah, he has to go into super immediately because he doesn't have OTG. He gets a hit. Um, I don't know about that head. Uh, get get some. He needs a better mi incoming mix up here. But that's Hecate in general. You just kind of need better mix up in general. Uh, jump back, jump forward. He's done. He's done a lot of jump back and forward. Hecate has. Mal should be better at punishing that. Or rather, Hecate should like change it up. So. Jump forward, jump forward. It means it's a double jump. Or like just dash jump here. Please. Just dash jump. Please. Just dash and jump. Let's, let's do it. Makes it make sense now why he's like jumping forward but using double jump so often is that he doesn't have uh he doesn't dash jump at all. So he should be doing that. It's just at this point mouse game to lose. He can mash anything at any point. He even has like double level five. He can mash level five and he'll win. He, oh yeah, that's a good snap. He gets his life back, pretty good. And he has enough life to kind of live through a reversal. But, drops the combo here, feels bad, man. Now just blocks, because he doesn't really need to push block here. There's no real reason to. I mean, the, he just he's just blocking mid, so there's actually a lot of reason to just push block immediately. But the point is, there's no threatening mix-up. So, you know, just block away. And, yeah... He should have done this like a long time ago. Like now, th at this point, it's not really relevant. And then he kind of explodes. Tries to hit the head. Does he actually hit the head with that? All right, the head does get hit. So, okay, feels bad. Now the head is completely behind. So you know, it's kind of rough. Did he? Did he actually dash jump? Yeah, so he does dash jump here. I guess he's not cognizant of the dash moving. The dash making his momentum better. So he should be more cognizant of that and not immediately double jump. Because there was no reason to. Like it the double jump didn't affect his momentum at all. You know? I guess I'm I or it might just be an input error. Doesn't really, I don't really know. And that's it. So you know. Overall, again, like Haggard's got a few hits, but he couldn't really make the most of them. Nothing I mean I feel so bad saying that, but there's nothing, there's very little interesting things to talk about Haggard's play. He does good things, and he legitimately makes good plays, but he doesn't have any set play. So, it's like, it's it's hard to quantify the good decisions that you make, because there's nothing strong to back it up with strong mix-ups or anything. But, like, again, like, he does, he does great things. He makes good plays a lot of the time, a lot more times than a lot of other people do. And it, he just can't make it count. So, I don't know. I mean, there were some, there were some like, ex some like decision errors that he made that he could look at. But again, like, I don't know. Just get better set play, I guess. And that's pretty much it for this one.